This is probably the weirdest historical axe I have ever made. And if you want to take a suggestion for what it was used for, please do so in the comment section. I will reveal the answer at the end of the video. While the steel is heating up, I crush some charcoal with my hammer to use as a loop when punching the eye of the axe. I punch the eye using my hydraulic press. I then begin drifting the eye to shape it into the right size. And I start by using these smaller drifts. I then move over to my big drift to get the eye to the right size. a set down tool to make a transition point from the eye to the blade. It's now time to start forging the blade of the axe and I do that using the rounding dies on my power. When I'm almost done with the forging, I go to my final drifts to really get the eye in the correct shape that I need. I mark out the excess material and then I grind it off using the big angle grinder. I wanted to try a different way of removing the forge kale, but that meant I had to run all the way to the other workshop to use the needle gun. After this, it's time to do some decoration on the axe. And I do this by using a special chisel that I made.
I use my belt grinder to rough in the edge of the axe. And now it's time for something that really feels weird to do, and that is cutting in the teeth of this specific axe. I normalize the axe by heating it up and letting it cool down to room temperature. And now it's time for hardening the axe, and I do that by quenching it in water. I use the flame of the forge to temper the axe and I carefully watch the temper colors on the blade. When the axe head is finished, it's time to move over to the handle and I rough shape it on the belt grinder. I then cut a slot for the wedge to sit in. And in this case I'm using walnut wedge, which will be a nice contrast to the hickory handle. I like to use raw linseed oil on my axe handles. And I also apply darkened linseed oil to my axe heads for rust protection. And I also think it looks kinda nice. So in today's video we made a very intriguing looking and if you ask me, weird looking axe. The Norwegians would probably call this a rap ex while we Swedes would probably call this a lerklinens yxa. This axe was m used to make notches in timber walls. And you did this to put clay on the walls. And now why would you want clay on your walls? Well, it actually windproofed the houses. It also made the walls flat so that you could have wallpapers and stuff like that. It also helped soundproof it. And it also, according to some sources, helped with fire protection. I got this idea from my friend Robin Haukos Larsen. He specializes in Norwegian axes on Instagram. You can check him out via the link in the description. And he's a really talented axe maker. This is probably one of the weirdest axes that I have made here on the channel. And I really hope you enjoyed it. So if you liked the video, please like it. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comment section. If you also guessed on what this axe was used for in the beginning of the video, please let me know if you had the correct answer. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.